What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, today we are officially showing NBA 2K25 news. Not no supposedly fake leaks. No, this is originally from 2K. This is the trailer that you're watching in the background. Now, I'm just going to go over just a few things. I'm not going to go over really too much. I'm just going to go over the important things that I think is important. So as you guys did know, as you're watching, this is the trailer in the background. A lot of people say they really don't notice the difference between this. It's a little difference in the game, but they still have kind of like the same animations in the game. But from 2K themselves, they did say that they have added 9,000 new pro play animations in NBA 2K25. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'm going to put this on the screen so you can see it and read it for yourself if you would like. Now, they do have a new supposedly defensive movement system. As you can see right there in the clip, Wimby is stripping Giannis from that clip. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Like I said, that's just the way from the clips that they got from them playing the game. Y'all already know once the real players get on the game and on the sticks, it's a totally different game. But, you know, I think it's kind of nice for them to have, you know, new, new news out there. Supposedly new dribble moves and new animations. Just because they added those animations does not, that all, does not mean that all of those animations will be used in the game. Y'all already know how this goes. It just depends on what move is very effective online with the input delay and which moves really work. Like some moves they add with the pro play in 2K24, yeah, they were nice moves. But they weren't really beneficial online, so it's only like a certain amount of moves that were like really, you know, ugh, cook somebody online with it. But yeah, that's one thing. Now, if you do pre-order NBA 2K25, you will be able to play the game two days early before everyone else. Just like Madden, I mean with EA did with NCAA, where you could play the game two days early before everybody else. 2K is bringing that back. It used to be a thing in the past, because I remember as a little kid, standing outside for like 2K16, if you got the game right then, and then you played it like days earlier before everyone else. That's before I started buying it online. But yeah, I'm going to put this on your screen too. Now, it does mean you can play it early. And by early tip-off, it means that it starts on Wednesday, September the 4th at 5 a.m. Eastern time. So that means if you're in California, that means at 2 a.m. your time, you can play 2K25 if you pre-order it. That's only for early tip-off. If you don't pre-order it, you're cooked. You cannot play it until Friday. But I think that's kind of cool that they're bringing that back. 2K also did bring back instant green releases. Now, that's kind of a good thing because I got tired of, like, really waiting to see if my shot went in. You know, if you good, you adjust to it and adapt to it. It was really no problem. But just seeing the instant green feature just to know, oh, money, get back. You feel me back on defense. That's a good thing. I'm glad that they brought that back. And I will be showing you a clip of that. Now, people did go to Twitter to tweet at Mike Wayne. Y'all know Mike Wayne is off the barrier now. So he can't respond to more tweets. So someone tweeted at Mike Wayne, how does hype fight the end of shot contest issue? Y'all know the shot contest issue was very crazy. It don't even matter if you was in a mitt. They would still green it. I have Hall of Fame clamps. Not Hall of Fame clamps. Hall of Fame challenger on my 6-8 PG bill. I will be in someone's face and they will green a 30% in my mitt. If I have Hall of Fame challenger, there should be no way if I'm in his mitt, there's no way he should green it. I'm not going to lie. If it's on Hall of Fame, what else do I need? The badge on platinum? Like, what else do I need? But anyway, he went to Twitter and he responded to it. He says, height and interior slash perimeter rating are stronger factors in the contest calculation this year. Hopefully, he's telling the truth about it and they don't update it and break it. Y'all know how 2K is. They like to say one thing on Twitter, but then once they get in the game, it works. So maybe like a couple weeks till they update the game and then it does not work no more. Then we have to remake a whole nother build to adjust to the game that they tweet. You feel me? So they talked about that, but we will be getting my player and my career news on the week of August the 5th, which is next week. Hopefully, they release it on August the 5th, but y'all know how 2K is. It says the week of. It doesn't say the August the 5th. So, it just depends. Whenever they want to release it that week, they will release it. But, yeah, man, that's really it for the news. You feel me? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you are new. If you did enjoy this video, please like and share this video. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy. Go crazy. We still like her grinding like always. And I'm out, man. Peace.